Well, I'm Dr. Farrell Tyson. I practice in uh, Cape Coral, Fort Myers, in Naples, Florida. My practice is uh, Tyson Eye, and I've been practicing for about 16 years. I'm actually a second generation ophthalmologist, so I like to call myself a legacy. But um, with that comes pros and cons, because you can imagine when it comes time for dad to have cataract surgery, uh, he's going to kind of tell you what he wants and how he wants it done. And so it was very interesting that we were able to both come to agreement on what lens would be best for him. Yeah, I decided I needed cataract surgery because I had a couple of refractions. And even my own refraction I wasn't seeing very well, so I decided it was the cataracts and I needed the surgery. And I'd watched him for a long time, and he was getting pretty darn good. And I watched other doctors too. And if I didn't think he was good, I wasn't going to let him touch my eyes. But I never found anybody better, so. <laughs> No pressure, so um, <laughs> you know, get to do the cataract surgery. Uh, say a couple O uh, comments while we're doing it, just to keep them alive. But no, <laughs> it uh, surgery went nice and smooth. You never know <clears throat> with doctors, nurses, especially family members, how it's going to go because it always seems to be they're going to be the most nervous, and especially you know an ophthalmologist that knows exactly that things can happen. And so we went in the surgery was uh, uneventful and the next day you're sitting there going okay you know am I going to be able to wow him because you know in our profession we're expecting wow every day so I was expecting to hear well it's okay you know good job son it's okay but he can tell you <laughs> yeah I'm very happy with it well why did you want the crystal lens he was very adamant that I want the crystal lens so yeah well <laughs> I read a lot in the literature, and I've seen post-op patients, and most of the ones with crystal lens were a lot happier than most of them with uh, refractive or diffractive lenses. What I found was you'd go to the meetings and they'd have these big surveys of all the ophthalmologists in the crowd, and they'd go, well, which, is, which would you have? And the crystal lens would always win over the diffractive uh, lenses. And I was a very uh, big proponent of diffractive lenses, and I still think that there's a great place for them in your practice. And I always sat there and thought, well, that's just because they're ophthalmologists. Their whole world revolves around a high contrast, detailed image to be able to do surgery and to look through the slit lamp. So they weren't willing to give up anything for, you know, um, be able to get that reading. So they weren't going to be able to go ahead and have glare and halos. They couldn't have. Uh, loss of contrast. So to me it made sense why those surveys kept coming out, but I didn't think that there was a problem with diffractive optics for other patients that their world didn't revolve around that high detailed image. So I could see where uh, my father was coming from and I thought that that made a lot of sense. Also a lot of people are concerned about can they hit the target with the crystal lens and I'd become very proficient with my surgical technique and so I hit what I'm aiming for, so I felt very comfortable putting this lens in his eye. And once again, it was a no harm, no foul optic. I knew I was going to get um, a high contrast image, very good range of vision, and I wasn't going to have the side effects that could come from a diffractive optic. I'm happy he's happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest problem when you're dealing with friends and family is really the expectations are very high, so to be able to exceed them is very, very difficult. And so you really want that happy patient. You don't, you don't care if they're 20-20 or not. And I've had family members that I've done that have been 20-20 with other lenses and I still get the nitpick and the, um, the critique. But with the Crystal Lens um, and Dr. Martin, um, I've got nothing but praises and he tells all his friends out at, um, out at the clubs and all the functions he does. So I'm happy that He's happy, but I'm really happy that when he's out in the community and talking about it, he's proud of what he has in his eyes. Well, I'm happy with it. It's great. Can you tell him about your aunt? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, she didn't get a crystal lens, so big mistake. <laughs> so that made me sure that I wanted one. Well, <laughs> don't know where to go from that one, but... <laughs> <laughs>